everyone. Today's project is... So, we've got a few jobs. First job is to do some painting. Yay! Do you want to make one each? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing over there? <laughs> You're going to work on that side, are you? Yeah. Okay, that's just the paint. I've just sanded them, so these are really smooth. So normally it starts off that colour or whatever colour the board is, but I've painted it in white because I think it means we only have to do one coat of the blackboard paint and it might just be a bit smoother and nicer. Now we've got this blackboard paint, um, I used it yesterday on the board up there and it works one coat with no primer. I've primed these but I think it's going to be good to go. It's also water based. The other stuff we've got which we used on your mud kitchen is oil based. It takes ages to dry but it's better for outside. But for this, that's what we need. She's a bit big. I, I'm afraid I don't have any little gloves. But it's better to use that than to get it all over your hand. Get it nice and even over, and then at the end I might just go over with that one myself, okay? When you get near the edges, it's good to wipe towards the edge, not that way. So you see the drip on the end there? You don't want the drip. So imagine you're sweeping it off. Hold your brush up a little bit straighter even, so it's pointing down. And then go both ways, seal the paint on that side. Well, no, no, you just got like that. So you paint in both directions. That's it. Lovely. Babe, look at me. Show me your hands. What did I just say about taking the gloves off? Wait for me. Note to parents, just because it's water-based, it's not that easy to clear up. It is everywhere. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? They should be drying. Okay, scoot it out again. <laughs> right, next job is I've cut so imagine that's your blackboard, yeah, then I've cut you these, so can you make a frame out of these? What do you mean? Okay. Okay, uh, and that one, Faith, hold it, put it right on the edge. How many days of the week are there? Seven. And if we put Saturday and Sunday on the same one, how many does that make? Six. Six. Now you put one on each end, Faith, put one on this one. Okay, right on the end. Okay, so you're going to have a frame like that. Now you need to put some dividers in to end up with six equal spaces. Wait. How many of these do you think you need? I'll put them all there. Two, um, three. So there's four in each part. And then we take another one. So that would be where we get it. And then take that one out. There you go, we that one out. I see what you're doing there, Eden. That was a clever way of doing it. Now, you, yours was okay as well, Faith. So, Faith spread them out to see how quick she could do it and just guess. You were doing it really precisely. Shall I get you a ruler now and we'll do a little mark on the frame and then you can space them? Just hold that one down. If you have a hundred, how many tens go into a hundred? Ten. Good. So, we want to get the length of this 
Yeah? yeah. And then we're going to divide it by our six. We want okay. six okay. gaps. Rules for this bit, okay? Don't paint the back because we're going to put glue on there. But you can paint the long sides. I paint these separately and let them all dry before we sit them down so it keeps our blackboard nice and clean. I'm going to get you some newspapers so you don't trash my workbench any more than you already have. I've pinched some baking paper. Here, here's a scrap of wood. You can use this for your mixing colours. Now, who knows how to make green? What colours? I know this. Uh, blue and yellow. Blue yeah. and yellow. Blue and yellow. So you could squirt your colours here. Right, we'll store these, keep them upside down. Let them drip down. Take a little bit from there, and a little bit from there, and mix it in the okay. middle. Okay? But try not to make all the colours mix together, or else it'll just be brown everywhere. Faith, you've just made all the yellow into green. Okay, that's enough. Are you going to start using it now? No, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? He's on this! Oh. <laughs> Painting these bits, let me, okay? Found all this in the paint drawer as well. Paint sticks. Do you want to try that? We all, I already tried one before. They're very good. They're very good. Yeah. This crazy pink colour there. Oh, I think I've got the most paint than you. I think you've got more paint on your hands and on the table than anyone. Okay. <laughs> no, don't. Mummy's gonna tell us off. Right. <laughs> <You're dirty. laughs> Girls use so much paint, they might need a bit of a helping hand. So we decided that we were going to put our frame on first, yeah, and then it's, what, what did we write down? One, four, where's our one measurement? Four, one, four, three. One, four, three. You're just painting the top, okay, you don't paint the sides. And you don't need too much, yeah. just an even spread, okay? Wipe it off. Okay, a bit like when we were painting, see like that? Just yeah, dab it and go all the way along. Here, that's right. But I'm just going to put a little nail in each end so it doesn't move. Uh. Okay, stop gluing, everyone. Stop gluing because I can't keep up if you keep gluing. This should be the right size now. Is it? Give or take. 
Yeah, so put it in there for the next spacer. Butt it up against there. Who's got glue stuck on their fingers to uh, peel it all off? Me. I took mine off. And oh, well done. Alright, that one's your one. This one's your one. Alright, I've just put a few little nails in just to hold those ones. But what we're going to do is put it on the floor, stack them on top of each other, then I'll put one of these boards on top as well, and then I'll just put some heavy things on it, and we'll leave it to dry overnight. And tomorrow, Daddy will put a, a bar of wood on the back, to keep it nice and straight so you can hang it on the wall because otherwise it might go a bit bendy because it's quite thin wood. Look down there. Can you see it's got a, it's a little bit banana -y. Yeah. But two options for the next bit. For the days of the week, we can either use... These, these pens rub out, but you can get permanent ones of these that will stay on there. So even if you wipe off all the chalk, the white ones will stay. So you, we can use a permanent pen or mummy has got some white vinyl and she might get her special machine to cut out the days. Right, stack yours on top of hers. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's like a giant blackboard sandwich. And the one No, now when you find some heavy things, put, put that on your end. Faith, have you learned the, um, the fun job of peeling off glue off the fingers? Nice and nice. Are you going to write for all your meals on there as well, are you? I don't think you're ever going to forget having breakfast there. So. That's good. Coffee in the Friday, that's a great idea. There we go, another mess making session. Uh, thanks to the girls and to Joe for their help in that one. As far as the products and things we use, we'll put those down in the description. Remember, if you buy through those affiliate links, then the girls get some pocket money. So you can help support the channel that way. Um, but this is the blackboard paint, water-based, really easy to use, and it kind of smooths itself out. Uh, but I would suggest a roller would give you a flatter finish to start with. The pens we use, well, now we use these quite a lot around the house. We use the permanent ones, which don't wipe off or rinse off in the rain. They're great for marking out things in the vegetable garden on little bits of slate or on the side of plant pots. But these ones are washable. They're a little bit more accurate to write with, so you can fit more on the board. 
but of course a stick of chalk is just as easy as well but we'll put a link to all that down below now if you haven't got access to scraps of wood lying around then don't worry because actually an old picture frame is what we've used in the past you always got the backing board so if you take out the glass and whatever old print that might be in there you can use that backing board paint that with the blackboard paint and you've already got a frame there to decorate we just thought it was quite a nice way for them to kind of create that and then especially when we go into the new school term if we're still going to be at home for a little while hopefully they can kind of help uh, set what they're going to do each day and it kind of gives them a bit of interaction there we got sent in loads of photos of people's log dogs which was great to see and we featured some of those on instagram i will try and put a another post up shortly so you can head over and see everyone's creations if you made any yourself then do tag us in all those we love seeing what people get up to a little sneak peek for next week because i know the girls didn't mention it there's one behind me here there's another one outside we're going to hang them up but next um project is nest boxes another one there um, so we've got a little bit creative with that but i'll leave it to the girls to do the outro and we'll see you next time give your thumbs up if you like the video <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, no. I was going to say yeah, tiny, tiny takeover. <laughs>